Hi, welcome to Canvixel Technologies and in this video we are going to see speed ramp and read time curve inside DaVinci Resolve 17's edit page. This feature is available from 14, DaVinci Resolve 14 but this is an unknown feature or unused feature uh, I have seen with the Resolve users. So I'm just going to go through this feature which will be very helpful and uh, make your speed ramps more smoother. So what we normally do is we have a footage something like this. So uh, let's say we want the first half to be faster. So we make a cut and then uh, the last half to be faster and the middle half to be normal in speed. So we select this uh, uh, cut uh, command and R to speed change we can simply increase the speed you can see the numbers over here so you can delete the gap and again come over here increase the speed so what how it looks let's play it back so that is speed then there is immediately slow-mo so let's say I'm going to change this to 800 and I'm going to delete this so speed then immediately slow then go to the end then slow then immediately speed so that this works fine, but there are a lot of complications when you take the color page. There are the, you cannot stabilize or uh, totally when uh, you are in the color page, or you have to separately stabilize, but that won't work properly. So those kind of issues are there. So how to avoid those issues? And with the help of uh, DaVinci Resolve Speed Ramp, we can solve this. So I'm just going to import the same footage. So what we can do is first select Command and R, so you get a speed change. Uh, button as you've got here so you don't need to add an actual cut over there so what we can do is we can add a speed point so which will act as a keyframe over there so you can add another key point at the end so you can see three segments over here so first segment let's say I'm going to change it to 800 the middle segment is going to be 100 and the last segment again it's going to be 800 so now let's play it back and it is same like it's same like this particular sequence like we did a cut so that is fast slow uh, I mean normal and then immediately that is fast so there is an advantage for this kind of workflow is that you can just right click and go to retime curve so this is the retime curve that I'm talking about the advanced feature inside the DaVinci Resolve edit page which is more sophisticated and you can make your speed ramp very smooth so let me select this and just smooth this out so which means your uh, transition from normal to fast will have a smooth radiation unlike uh, what we have here so slow and then immediately fast and over here you can see slow then gradually fast it's like easing and ease out inside the timeline for the speed ramp so I'm selecting again and just smoothing this out so you can smoothen it out if you want to take it upward or downward you can do all those stuff so faster then gradually it is going to become normal so this speed ramp is very much helpful in your editing process to make a smooth uh, to make a smooth in and out so that's about the speed ramp and i'll get back to you with a lot of tips and tricks with davinci resolve 17 uh, take care thanks bye